Virgo, welcome to your daily reading for November 18th through the 19th. My name is Brandon Tobias. Welcome to my channel, Science of the Soul and Stars. If you're new here, I do daily and weekly updates for your horoscope sign in love and in life. So if you want those updates, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the soul family. We'd love to have you. Also, if you do find this video impactful, be sure to hit that like button. Helps this video grow so we can guide more people. Now, Virgo, we're going to get right into it. We're going to do be doing a two-part reading today. First part is a channeled oracle reading for you, where I channel messages from my spirit guides, angels, and your spirit guides for messages you need to hear for the 18th and 19th that are important. The second part of the reading, we get into the channeled tarot, and this could be around love or life or relationship, situationship, person that you're wondering about and want more clarity on. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to open the ceremony now. All right, taking this opportunity to open the ceremony now, calling my guides, angels, ancestors, loved ones, masters, wise ones, and those from the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Um, please, Spirit, allow me to guide the sign of Virgo for the 18th and 19th of November 2020 for their highest good in love and in life. Thank you so much. And the ceremony is now open. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show my screen down here. For you, Virgos. How are you, Virgos? like a lot of transformations been going on through your sign um, last week for your weekly which um, by the way your weekly will be posted um, in the description box below if you want additional insight in your love and life and there will be an extended in that reading as well so if you want to check that out you can get even more insight into what spirit has for you this a little out of order. All right, spirits. So please give us some guidance for the sign of Virgo for the 18th and 19th. Sun, moon, Venus rising of November. Whatever Virgo needs to hear for their highest good and loving in life. Okay. Beautiful. So bottom of the deck, I feel that you are being initiated into quite a journey and this journey I just got as well um, we have the owl as a common sign or common uh, emblem here okay you see that so the owl here I, d I feel is with you this week by the way and the owl typically brings new wisdoms insights guidance and clarity into a situation and typically can represent a major change too in a situation a relationship a life circumstance um, but either way, the owl is typically wise, steady, insightful, and um, uh, represents change as well. Okay, So there might be all of those things coming into your life in the next two days. Um, I feel like this card is telling me you're on a little bit of a cleanse and a little bit of an inward journey to find yourself. This card really re reminds me of you, the Divine Feminine here. Virgo is one of the most feminine signs, and it's all about purification and cleansing. And I feel like this woman here in this picture is really going through a cleanse uh, of and within herself, a spiritual cleanse or just a recognition of maybe what's um, what's inside that's no longer serving her. It could also be too that you're feeling a little bit of regret or pain over the past or parts of yourself that you're looking to heal. Now, I'm going to start with these two cards in the middle. We have the blade and the witness here. Whoops, still a little blurry. Don't know why it's there. okay. There we go. The blade and the witness here. Okay. Um, so the blade to me definitely represents, yeah, cutting out the part of your. Oh, this is very interesting. Cutting out the part of yourself that was formerly just a witness in a situation. So if you've been observing a situation from afar or not really acting, or being a little bit more passive or hoping someone or something to happen for you or to you, this is telling me that that's actually part of yourself that needs to be cut out. Because Virgo, you are a cardinal sign and you're an action-oriented sign and you can get shit done and do shit yourself. Sorry for my language. You can do stuff yourself. Um, and you can take action. You can initiate a situation. In fact, part of you is meant to initiate a situation. Um, and I feel like there's a part of you that maybe doesn't believe you're powerful enough or worthy enough or just maybe should do something. But I feel like this is changing and this is the part of you that's going to be released or is calling to be released the part of you that doesn't want to take action and to just be a witness in a situation we have the mystical shaman here and the owl so yeah I feel like definitely 
Um, there's a lot of new insight coming in. There might be someone, I, I feel like you're, I feel like this is actually someone in your life that helps you. Like maybe you're getting guidance from someone or something. Um, you have some, some, uh, yeah, some guidance, some coaching, some lessons, some spiritual help or some spiritual insight where you're going to see someone who's going to really steer your path clearly or to help actually exile some of the darker energies inside of you. I'm really feeling like this witness card, which for whatever reason it's coming across to me as an energy that just needs to be let go of. And I feel like this is the witness, witness ghost kind of leaving, right? And the mystical shaman is like identifying this and, and calling it to leave and cleansing it. So I really feel like you're going to be seeing someone um, that's going to help to identify and to uh, cleanse you and to heal you and to really get you back into yourself. And that's what's getting cut out this week. So, or, uh, well, this weekend, but the next two days in particular. Okay, so my advice here is just, um, you know, go with the flow. I feel like this is going to be a natural progression, but it is time, I feel, to start to take a little bit more action on a situation and maybe in your life. And uh, if you need some help or some clarity or some assistance, don't be afraid to reach out to someone or to work with someone who can actually really guide you in this way. Because I feel like you've come to a place where you're really identifying there's, you know, there's maybe some assistance needed spiritually to get you back on the right track. Okay. And because of this, I feel like definitely the owl is here to help guide you to the right person, uh, the right treatments, the right care, the right energy work, whatever it is for you. And you'll have additional insights as a result of this situation. Okay. So very interesting energies, Virgo. Definitely on the journey of transformation. Um, very strongly here. I apologize. My camera seems to be crooked. And I know that might drive you Virgos crazy. <laughs> I know if it drives me crazy, it drives you guys crazy. All right. So let's get some additional guidance from... There's that Six of Cups and the Ten of uh, Pentacles. So this could be regarding a love situation, or you could have a love situation in your mind, someone who you want to build an incredible life with, and you know it's abundance that may have walked away from you, or you may have walked away from them, or you had to walk away from each other to find something better. Okay. Or more in alignment for you. Yeah? Or create the circumstances that would allow things to be more in alignment. All right, Spirit. So what can we get some guidance for the collective sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising? That one came out. Um, for November 18th and the 19th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, so this week, this is you, definitely coming into your heart, coming into your feelings, coming into your uh, divine feminine essence, and really feeling the urge to start to give your love away, give your love back, give your love back. I feel like you've been holding your love in for a little while, and underneath it all, you're kind of ready to start to come back out into the world after a little bit of reflection, cultivation, feeling stuck. Uh, you're ready to go get and find your sunshine and to step into your power and purpose. And holy cow, you have your father of cups here, your match, your beloved partner. Holy cow. That always goes unexpectedly. But we do have a power couple and a loving union here. The father of cups with the mother of wands and the mother of cups and the two of cups. So someone is on your heart you're on your heart, <laughs> and this person's on your heart, but you are definitely stepping into your feelings and wanting, I feel, in these next two days to give your love to someone very special. Now, these next two days, the star card came out first, so I will talk about that. Um, you have to know that whatever is happening, whatever space or separation or reflection, it's important to know that there is like this had to happen for a, a really tangible reason here. And it was divinely orchestrated. It was necessary. And there was no other way around it. Uh, you know, this is just a message that's coming through, but there was no other way around the situation, whatever it was for you, that you had to disconnect from. 
feel you disconnected from a situation. It could be from a person because you knew maybe you had to heal your own heart or you knew that you weren't ready to give your heart in the situation or weren't able to and you felt like it's time to actually heal this in order to have a brand new beginning, a real, a real beginning, something that can last, that has the potential to go all the way. Okay. So you've been filling your cup, I feel, getting to the root of your cup, healing any and all of the pain, darkness that existed. You had to disconnect from some situation, could be a person, could be a situation, which was divinely orchestrated. This is a message straight from Spirit telling you if you are in regret or feeling bad about that, know that this had to happen. Um, Ace of Cups here, so that you could have a brand new beginning. I feel with this person. I feel with this person. I feel you may have walked away from the person that you love the most in here. Um, and this person never left your heart. You never disconnected from them fully. They've been underneath the, the surface the whole time. But... Like what was on top of it, Rose Quartz, self-love. So you needed to learn to love yourself so that you could love this person and give them something worthwhile. And the Six of Wands here, this is you flying up from the darkness, flying up from the darker space that you were in before to a new beginning, a new life, brighter times, and spreading your wings to be seen, to be loved, to be admired and going to new places. So, um, you know, when it comes to, you know, I don't know if this, I, I feel like, I feel like this is just what you need to know right now, Virgos. Like you need to know that if you're having a lot of feelings or regret or pain, you know, in a situation, Spirits just tell me you need to know that it was faded. There was nothing you could have done about it. So let that go. Walk away from that feeling because it was faded. The reason was, and I think you realize this, you had to do some healing in your heart so that there could be a new beginning. And there will be. There will be a whole new... I mean, you're going to be a whole new person, I feel. All right, let me get three final outcome cards. Spirit, please, for the sign of Virgo. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, 18th to 20th. Thank you, Spirit. Daughter of Wands, Three of Swords, and the Hermit. And the Two of Pentacles, my Butterfly card. So you are still healing. You are still feeling quite a bit of pain, uh, going through some heartbreak. Maybe you're healing this heartbreak as well. Um, but you are evolving, so know that very soon. You are evolving. Um, whoops. Meant to get this card. You're evolving into a new form of yourself, and it's beautiful, and it's, it's it's stunning. And without this whole thing happening, whatever led to this heartbreak, it wouldn't have been possible, I feel. So know that. Um, this Dot of Wands here. Yeah, I feel like this is... Um, what's also going to be happening through this healing, through this pain, through this transformation is you're going to be reawakened and realivened in your passion, your passion, your, your sensuality, your sexuality, your desire for someone or something is coming alive again as you go through your healing. Remember, you're evolving, and remember, there's probably a little bit more time alone that might be needed in order to go through this, okay? So even though I see and feel you have someone on your heart that you want to move forward with into a new horizon and to give love to who is your wish fulfillment, who might cut you off or not be talking to you right now, know that you still have some time before things can even out and be balanced and you guys can come together. These two wands coming together in truth and clarity, okay? So keep going, Virgos. I am rooting for you. Believe me, I'm rooting for you. And I'm wishing you all the best in your journey here. And if you want additional clarity or your reading, be sure to check out the weekly reading, which will be in the description box below. And there will also be an extended reading in that if you want more clarity about what's going on with your person right now. Um, so go check out that reading. 
And um, best of luck. If you found this reading helpful, be sure to hit that like button so this channel and this video can grow and we can guide more people. And also be sure to subscribe if you want continued daily and weekly updates for your horoscope sign and love and life. Thanks so much again for joining. Namaste, love and light, and I'll see you in the next one.